On the 3rd of June 2010, while most of us were planning our summer holidays, six men were getting ready for a very different experience. 520 days of isolation in space. Now, one year after the Mars 500 experiment began, the two European crew members are doing better than anyone had expected. Well, after one year inside our, our house, I'm feeling good. Um, we had a lot of fun together, um, but we also went through some long period of uh, monotony. And even through those um, periods, we always kept a good spirit together. Apart from the isolation, living inside Mars 500 means adapting to a completely artificial environment. No daylight, no fresh air, and no sight of nature at all. Simple things such as the blue sky, uh, such as, uh, I don't know, going dancing in the evening. Uh, I love that. And uh, here I, I am not able to do it. Um, my family, I miss them a lot. And my friends. Well, in general, I miss a lot the randomness of the world. Because on board of Mars 500, there is no space for randomness. On the contrary, daily routine is carefully planned and filled with scientific experiments, physical exercise, and spaceship maintenance tasks. Under these circumstances, monotony was a real challenge for the crew. One thing that we did not foresee, but that they are using uh, to break the monotony with is creativity. So what they have been doing is for Halloween, for example, they dressed themselves up with scientific equipment. Uh, for Christmas, they came up with their own um, self-made uh, nativity scene. Um, and they also celebrated the Chinese New Year using Chinese folklore uh, things. So th the creativity has helped them a lot with breaking the monotony. Moments of companionship that help them cope with the harder days. We simulated a couple of emergencies. One was a uh, complete cut uh, from power. And another one that we recently did was a uh, complete breakdown of communication. So they were totally on their own for almost one week. Um, they cope with those emergencies extremely well. And the highlight of this first year was undoubtedly the landing and the stay on the Red Planet. They were wearing uh, spacesuits that were adapted. They're still very, very heavy and bulky. They wear, weigh more than 30 kilograms per piece. Um, but still, the crew managed to uh, walk around with those spacesuits uh, extremely well. Um, they even survived a simulated accident where one of the crew members fell and uh, had to get up. An experience that Diego Ibina will never forget. That was a quite, quite an exciting experience to be there with your two buddies in the spacesuits, uh, alone, isolated from everyone and working, uh, all depending on each other uh, to, to survive, to work. For Romain, who stayed on the main ship during the Mars landing, the biggest achievement is to have stayed together as a team. Uh, happily, we didn't have any conflict uh, coming out of any of our initial disagreements. And um, it's good to know we are still one team even one year after the start of this isolation study. On the 5th of November, when the hatch opens again, they will finally reunite with friends and family and return to normal life. But they still have six months to go. And these months will be crucial to study the effects of prolonged isolation on the body and the mind. Their responses will not only mark the success of this experiment, but also help future generations of astronauts prepare for long-term missions to the Moon and Mars.